This is AEDT 1160U, Digital Communication Technologies. The title of this video clip is Here and There. The analysis questions for this video clip are as follows. How can one keep in touch with people who live in a different time zone? How can one keep in touch with people who have a lesser access to technology? What is the nature of distributed online work? How does it work? You will remember that in video clip 2.3, we presented four scenarios of digital communication with time and place variables. You might want to refer to that video again to understand the situation that we are exposing here. Let's look at how these technologies change how we live, work, and play in society. Pierre, who works at the language school, always teaches classes to government workers during lunchtime. At one point, Mary, the director, asked him if he would like to trade the lunchtime lesson with a new employee. Pierre immediately replied that he didn't mind teaching at lunch hour. This involved teaching from 12 to 1 and being available to students for half an hour after class, which meant that he could take his lunch from 1.30 to 2.30. Mary was surprised that he didn't mind. Pierre had a set schedule. At 1.30, he would go out to grab some fruits and nuts and he would come back to his office. He would close the door put his headphones on, and would engage in conversation in several European languages. Mary didn't quite understand why he didn't want to socialize with people at lunch. What Pierre is actually doing is keeping in touch with friends and relatives who live in France and Germany. When it is 2 p.m. here, it is 8 p.m. there. By the time Pierre gets home, it is 8 p.m. here and 2 a.m. there. Taking advantage of his delayed lunch hour allows Pierre to speak to people at the time that they get home and are still awake. Ricardo, on his side, has an easier time to keep in touch with his family in Venezuela because there is no time difference. When it is 7 p.m. in Toronto, it is 7 p.m. in Venezuela. The biggest issue Ricardo has is the instability of the internet connection in Venezuela and sometimes the electricity even shuts down. Lately, he's been initiated to various web technologies and he found some ways to call Venezuela for free through his computer. The younger members of his family are able to log in on Skype, but the older members are unable to turn on the application and log in. If his family is not on Skype, he uses various applications to call their landline. He heard that these applications were available for intelligent phones, so he could actually call to Venezuela from elsewhere than his home. As soon as he gets a job, he will buy a phone and figure out how to keep in better contact with everyone. Now let's look at Joe's activities. Joe likes to play online games. He was criticized by his mother and then by his girlfriend about his online gaming habits. When he comes home from work, he prepares his supper and rushes to his computer to play. Aside from his regular day job, Joe has a programming business. He claims that he designs MOOCs because what he does would not be well perceived in his professional life. Actually, he programs scripts for MMORPGs, that is, massive multiplayer online gaming. He logs into his computer early in the morning to work with a company in Seattle. The company deals with the core game engine, such as the rendering, the sound, and the physics of the game, but they outsource the scripting language requirements. Joe is an expert in enemy behavior programming. At night, he plays with expert gamers around the world to find out new strategies and ways to defeat the game. In the morning, he speaks with the folks in Seattle to provide them with instructions on how to change the codes in the gameplay to improve enemy behavior, and he makes the game more challenging. Despite the high cost of living in the GTA, Joe managed to buy a nice house because of his additional revenue. The synthesis questions for this video clip are as follows. Do you think Pierre should explain to Mary what he is actually doing when he takes his lunch at his office? Should Ricardo get an intelligent phone? What could you suggest to him? And finally, how does Joe join his passion to his business?